Hi everybody, welcome to your lesson that's all about population changes. So through time, any number of species in a population is gonna ebb and flow, it's gonna rise and it's gonna fall. Um, and eventually, they should all reach a balance. So let's take a look at this ecosystem uh, for example. What do you think would happen if grass was taken from the grassland? Or if there was a decrease in predators? That would have major changes to the populations that live within the ecosystem. So for example, if there were no grass, then the zebra population would decrease because there's no food for them to eat. Um, they would slowly kind of die off. Now, if there's a decrease in predators, the zebra population would increase because no one is eating them. So in this situation, and in many situations like it, there are just enough predators to keep the zebra's numbers small enough to live off the amount of grass that's available. It's reached that particular balance, okay? So most of the time, animal populations are gonna maintain this balance on their own. However, there are some factors that can change this balance, one of which we know is predation. So this is where um, one animal will feed on another. We just talked about it um, with predators and the zebras, um, but then also if we think about the ecosystems in water and the fish population, removing bears from that population would have um, lasting effects on the fish population. Um, here we have a tiger chasing a wild pig, another situation where um, the wild pigs tend to be invasive and they tend to um, procreate very quickly and having a tiger kind of keep that population in check is actually essential for the balance of the ecosystem. Now we're talking about competition. So a competition is a relationship where two or more organisms are needing and competing for the same resource. So there's competition for food or water. If there's a whole bunch of animals or um, even other organisms in an ecosystem that rely on the same pond um, for water, then there would be a lot of competition surrounding that pond, okay? Um, what are some other things that animals might compete for? Well, they could compete for the same food source. They could compete for the same habitat. Um, the same um, uh, mate, okay, even. So a lot of things that animals would compete for in order to keep their self not only surviving their environment, but thriving, meaning that they're able to create offspring. So ecosystems, as we mentioned, need balance. Notice that the wolf population here will peak after the rabbit population. Why do you think that's the case? Okay, so if the rabbits are increasing in their numbers quite rapidly, all of a sudden they've created a great food source for the wolves to come in and follow to then feed upon their prey, the rabbit. Now, after the wolf population increases, they all make their way into the area to feed on the rabbits. What happens to the rabbits? they begin to rapidly decline. Well, now there's not enough food to sustain the wolf population. So what happens to them? They start to decline after the rabbits. Okay, now there's not a lot of wolves in the area. So the rabbits aren't getting eaten as quickly. So they're able to increase their population. But after there's all these rabbits in the areas, who makes their way back in? The wolves, okay? So this, as you can see, is the ebb and flow that we talked about at the beginning of the of the video, it's gonna rise and it's gonna fall. One is gonna happen and that's gonna cause the other to follow, okay? What happens if we remove the wolves? Well, if the rabbit population goes unchecked, they're gonna be able to multiply rapidly, leading to a decline in the available resources that the rabbits need. Um, they're all going to, the rabbits are all gonna be comp competing for the same sources the same food sources, the same shelters, etc. So it is really detrimental to an entire ecosystem if you remove the population of one organism and leave the others unchecked.